Arctic. Enchanted Light, the fifth largest economic stimulus award in America and the largest in New Mexico, rolls forward. Deployment of 2,500 miles of fiber optic lines means hope for rural America. In northern Taos County, crews have reached Cuesta first, starting where the state line meets Colorado. Here in Costilla, abandoned homes mark the remnants of a once thriving agricultural community, beaten down for decades by a mass exodus due to war, drought, and economic downturn. But fiber optic technology brings hope. Take, for instance, the 18 children enrolled in the Rio Costilla Elementary School. They'll use it for education, online homework, research, and much more. I like computers because you can get on top speed and memories components. And, and you could go on soft school. I like computers because you can play games on it and you can do school stuff. I like it because uh, you could research history or like math or something, or if you don't understand something, you could look it up or you could use it to go to college. One of the biggest hurdles in rural schools is getting devices for students whose families can't afford them. Thanks to a grant by Chevron Mine, giving part of the mine's KCEC capital credits to Cuesta Independent Schools, the district will buy iPads to help fill in the digital gap for children like Ezra Terry. I don't have a computer at home because I don't have enough money for it. Fiber optic technology will revolutionize education. Dr. Cato Neal says UNM and Taos will deliver education in new ways not yet seen here. We anticipate we're going to have to do a lot of training um, for everybody from all the way through the, the career pipeline, um, K through 12, and all the way up through seniors in terms of computer literacy and helping people be comfortable with these tools and, and these educational opportunities. Moving to the eastern reaches of the KCEC service area, perhaps this is where students want fiber optic more than any school. Here in Angel Fire at Moreno Valley High School, ranked a top school in the country, the internet endlessly frustrates both students and teachers. It's stuck. It, yeah, it just is stuck. And you, and then your whole class is stalled. They're stalled. They're like, what do we do now? Oh, well, that was the whole, that was the plan right there. We could get more work done and turn in projects earlier. I try so hard to make these videos for my dear teacher Beth, but because of the slow internet, I can never make any progress. It's really quite tragic. True fiber optic connectivity in the 21st century is a necessity for education. Studies show students with fiber optics are more likely to graduate, fill out online job applications, and assist their families when applying for online government services and benefits. It is the hopes and dreams of those close to this project that it will increase the ability to keep young people in the community after high school and college. Online businesses, Online jobs and health care can revive economically challenged areas. Working at home is priceless. In the next report, fiber optics and economic development, including business opportunities in the corridor of the Rio Grande del Norte National Monument. The future of fiber optic is electric. Kit Carson. Enchanted like fiber optic. What's the hot topic? Enchanted like fiber optic.